The force talks to me. Some forests are older than others. But you can hear it. You can hear it whispering. You can hear the sounds. I know when the ground is too dry. I know when the ground is too wet. You know, if you don't walk in the environment that you're supposed to protect and learn it, you're not going to be very good at it. You got to know where the water is. You got to know, you know, it's just amazing how people don't touch the earth anymore. I take care of this area because I love this area. I love every ounce of it. I'll drive through it. I love the beauty of it. And when it burns, I love the beauty that the burn left. You have to understand that we are only visitors in this area. We build these, you know, houses and these structures, but nature lives here. This is the water site. And if you look up on the hill, you'll start seeing some garbage that goes down into it. So this should, this is not good. If a dump site is actually into the water, then you're talking about contamination to the water flow. And as you can see, cows are probably over here drinking. Uh, lots of wildlife drinks here, so. I work for the Cabin Nation of Oklahoma. Uh, we are located in Southwest Oklahoma. Um, we cover six counties. And so we literally, our boundaries are from the Southern, the Southern Fork of the uh, Canadian River running down to the Washita River. I started working for the Caddo Nation. I was working in the museum, working on art, on an on a archeological um, collection. And about four months later, they hired me to actually become the EPA director. In 2007, when I first started as the um, EPA director and emergency manager, um, I actually inherited two presidentially declared disasters. We had a hurricane that came up across Texas, dropped about anywhere from 18 to 36 inches of rain. I had a contaminated road, um, diesel mud, directly on this road that was already flooded. It was making everybody in that area sick because they were breathing in the diesel. So when you see a lot of people having an illness or some kind of you know, resulting illness or symptom, from their environment, and their, their environment is making them sick. You need to find out where that's coming from. Wouldn't that be nice? But if you really, really, really think about it, um, Environmental Protection Agency is emergency management, almost in all forms. Either we're educating people to what's in their environment, and we're, so we're educating them, it means we're preparing them for what can happen. That's like telling them they're living next to a um, coal factory, you know, or something like that. We tell them what the problems are there and we monitor their air and take care of them. Or there's also mitigation. You mitigate things in EPA. You try to help lessen the severity of what could happen by protecting people saying, no, don't dump in this or don't, you know, put that there or don't live there. The one thing we would look for is to see if people are still currently dumping. I'm like a dump site finder, but they need to put a sign that says no dumping so people don't continue to dump. And what happens is when people find like a dump site like this, what they do is they decide to just throw their trash too. All partnerships are good and uh, they're, you know, necessary. I started working with USGS um, around 2008-2009 and the you know I went to uh, Oklahoma Water Resource Board they had a hearing and basically they denied us our claims because they said you know we had to prove that this rural water district number six from Grady County was going to actually deplete the water well that's the last thing that any person should say to a science geek prove it so that's what I did I went to uh, USGS and we did a gap analysis, that was our first year. We saw the gaps, what was the historical data, what, what did we need to do? And we were working towards an ideal of mapping this reservoir that's beneath us, it's an aquifer, the Rush Springs aquifer, which is beneath our feet. We actually finished all the modeling of the aquifer and the guy who's doing the modeling now, GIS, 
and all these other things. He, he did a really cool thing showing all the seepage that's in my area. You'd be amazed at how many springs just come out of the bedrock everywhere. That's how I work with USGS. They are great partners. I would suggest them to anybody. If you were to study like environmental sciences or something, geography would definitely be a very- I'm, I'm gonna say that of all the things you can do in this world, education is solidly the most important thing you could ever do. You know, and people, you know, they look at things that they do and they say, I don't know what I want to be, but you know what? You could have a degree in, say, English, but it's not the degree that you get, it's the fact that you can learn. And if you come in with a, a secondary degree, like a bachelorate or something, what you've already proved is that you can learn, that you are malleable, that you're capable of taking new information and processing it. If you were, if you were a young person, I would say, and you're really interested in being outside, boots on ground, and working in the, you know, in the fresh air. And if you are tribal, you can work for your tribe in environmental. And also a whole nother field that's opening up is GIS. The geo, you know, information systems, GIS, there is ways of building layers of information that can actually be put on top of each other and they tell a story. That's the greatest thing is GIS, every layer captured and when you put it all together, it can tell your story in like one huge map. So I tell people, you know what, if you're gonna go into something, learn GIS because it is the thing of the future. Now if you can breathe out here. And... Sight now this is what I like, I like being outside. I like, I like this. Nature lives here. And eventually nature will take back everything that we build. They need to own the land they live on. Like understand it, like it's a brother, a sister, a mother, someone that is cherishable and important. And that's probably all I have to say on that.